The John Muir Way is a 134 mile coast to coast walk. One of Scotland's great trails, it offers a journey through Scotland's landscapes, history and heritage. Traversing central Scotland, it links Helensburgh in the west with John Muir's birthplace in Dunbar in the east and is fully waymarked for walking and cycling. John Muir emigrated to America while still a boy and became the father of the American National Parks and is a key figure in the conservation movement. The trail opened in 2014 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Muir's death. Welcome to another video. Brora and I are back on the John Muir Way again. So we're in Balloch and we're going to walk 17 and a half miles and do a section of the John Muir Way to Strathblane. And hopefully I've got my tent, wild camp somewhere, um, hopefully before Strathblane. And then tomorrow we're going to do another section from Strathblane to Croy. Altogether, it's about 31 miles the walk. And this is Loch Lomond, so the bonny banks of Loch Lomond. Um, and we'll be leaving that shortly and heading inland. But yeah, nice morning. Isn't it, Brora? It's lovely. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> just uh, left Balloch behind. We're probably uh, about a mile, a mile and a half away from Balloch. You can just see it down there. And this is quite pleasant. Some country roads. So most of the walk this morning will be on uh, country roads. Oh, here's another car. It's mostly farm vehicles. Yeah. There's a lot of road walking this morning. Um, I don't know how much exactly. And then we kind of go into the wilderness on a forest track. Oh, here's another car. This is not going to be enjoyable if it's as busy as this. Oh, um, yeah, so a lot of road walking. And then we get into um, the kind of wilderness a bit. And actually it goes quite remote. Uh, into some quite remote parts. Nice wee garden. Lovely. Yeah, we've walked three and a half miles. So I need to watch out for bikes. There's more bikes than people. I've not met anybody else hiking, but I've probably seen about 10, 12 bikes and a few cars. But um, over there is Connick Hill. Um, I'll take a photo. So I don't know if you can see it with the GoPro, but it's very distinct. Um, all the kind of bumps on it. and the West Highland Way goes over that. So we actually um, joined the West Highland Way um, before Strathblane, uh, I think, or is it after? Before, I think. 
um, at the Carbeth Huts. So we're finally off the road. We came off the road just at that farm there. And on this wee track. So it is 25 to one nearly. So I'm pretty hungry, so first opportunity. I'm gonna stop for some lunch. Oh. So we've reached a high point in the trail here um, and you'll probably not pick it up with the GoPro but down there you get great views of Loch Lomond, Connick Hill to the right and we've come from a way over there I think, <laughs> way over there um, and I can also see Dungoyne, it's kind of hard to pick it out because of the haze but Dungoyne's uh, you can't see the profile of it because it's hidden behind the bigger hills, but I'm going straight over there. Scotch dadder. Oh, or maybe maybe it's the skin. So we've climbed up quite steeply. We've come from the track away down where those trees are. Loch Lomond is over there. You can still see Connick Hill. And where we started and Balloch is away this way. So I think we've got a little bit, maybe a little bit more ascent. Um, and then we'll be heading down towards the reservoir. So we update. We're still going around this reservoir. Um, a lot of the track is up and down, just like this. This is one of the down bits. Um, but it's yeah, up and down and roundabout. So we started <laughs> way over there like ages ago, and we've had to go all the way around. But yeah, quarter past three just now, and you can still see um, Dumgoyne. It's getting closer and closer. So. It's a bit early to set up camp. I'd quite like to camp close to the reservoir just because it's our source of water. But um, it is a bit early and it means we've got a longer day tomorrow. So I'm going to get to the end of the reservoir and see. I'm not all that keen on filling up with water here and then having to carry it too far. It looks like there's a nice sweet spot to camp just there. Um, that's maybe a bit lumpy and bumpy. So we're kind of looking for a pitch now. Um, so there's a wee burn here and obviously there's water here. So I'm just trying to find somewhere flat enough that I can maybe pitch the tent. 
Um, I don't really want to be in full view. So this wee bit here isn't great, <laughs> as you can see. There's just a wee bit of grass there. Uh, I think it got a bit lumpy and bumpy. So I might have a wee look further up the track, uh, the way we've come, because um, there's really uh, very little water. It's not rained for ages. Um, so I think the wee barn would be a good source of water for me. So I followed a wee path and look what I found. A bit of a summit really. The path goes on, so I'm assuming it goes up to that hill up there. Yeah, we came to the summit. I think that over there is smoke. I think there's a fire somewhere, I can smell it. There's Loch Lomond, look at that. Wow. You probably won't be able to see it with a GoPro and I've no idea what hill this is. But we're going to go and have to find some water. Somewhere. Yay! We're at the summit. Whatever hill it is. We just need to find water. We're going to have to go all the way back down for water. I'm going to pitch the tent first. Tent's up. Whoops. This way. Throw has gone mad for birds. Yeah, so the tent's pitched. It is just after five past five. And I met a lovely couple. And the lady gave me 500 mils of water. So, um... That's helped, but it won't be enough. I've got probably, I've actually got about a litre, just over a litre. So I think I'll go down and get some more um, and that'll keep me going tonight and tomorrow. And as I say, it's only five past five, so plenty of time. I just hope nobody steals my ten. I've got all my valuables. I think it'll take me about ten minutes to get down and probably another twenty to get back up. But um, yeah. So this hill I discovered is Ochen Eden Hill um, and the Huangi, I think it's just down there. But yeah, I'm happy with this. I can officially say this is my first summit camp. So I've ticked off a bucket list item. I've been wanting to do a summit camp for ages and it was by accident. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get running water. Not much running. Oh dear, oh dear, dear. Try. We'll just have to get what we can. So I made it down for water. It's not a great colour, as you can see. It's got lots of bits in it, but I filtered it and I'm boiling it. So hopefully it'll be okay. It took me 45 minutes to go down and back up. 15 minutes to go down, half an hour to come back up, but I had to keep stopping. I was so dizzy. So I think I'm a bit dehydrated and uh, also needing food. So I've got a something to eat, macaroni cheese, and I've not got much else to eat. I've got breakfast tomorrow. I think I've got two cereal bars and I've got some whiskey. So hopefully that'll be enough to keep me going. And I've got a adventure food expedition breakfast for tomorrow. Um, I've got hot chocolate, so hopefully it'll all be okay. But the weather's cleared up a little bit. It's still quite hazy. I think some of that is to do with the smoke in the atmosphere. There's much better views of Loch Lomond now. So once I've had dinner, I'm going to take a wee wander up to the summit and walk along the ridge a wee bit. So there's my tent and there's the summit and this is the views. It's 
still really, really hazy, not helped by the smoke. So I've had dinner, had my macaroni cheese, so I feel a bit better now. And we've zipped the tent up and we're just going to go a wee wander up to the summit again. And see what we can see. <clears throat> Ockenedon Hill. Come on. Yeah, that's definitely smoke over there. Definitely. You can see Glasgow in the distance. And the reservoir that we were at is down there. And that's the path we came up. So I'm gonna go we wander down here. This way, this way brother. as well putting it all in, wouldn't I? Yep. Hmm. Hey, we'll try this. What do you think of that? No. Hmm. Really nice. As usual, I had a restless night in the tent and woke a few times. At some point overnight, the smell of smoke from wildfires was replaced by the smell of whisky being made from nearby Dumgoyne Distillery. A nice smell to drift off to sleep to. Rain to go. <laughs> That's me all packed up. It is five past eight. I've been up since twenty to six. Um, had a nice breakfast. No views this morning, apart from down to the reservoir that we walked around yesterday. But you can just see Loch Lomond in the distance, and obviously leave no trace. Just some flat grass, and I'll pick up Brora's bow. So. All ready to go on the next leg of the John Muir Way. So I think we've probably got about three miles or so to get to Strathblane and then it is 13 miles to Croy. So probably about 16, 17 miles today. But that should be fine. And then we'll get the train back. So I've no water left. I've only got one cereal bar, so I need to get some food for lunch. Oh, gee. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. I've eaten all the food. Don't call the water. Not left anything. Nothing left. Just 
the camera, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I've got some supplies. Yum. Mm -hmm. So we're just at the Carbeth huts and making our way up here. So that is the campsites ahead. You can see Dumgoyne. And I think up there, still in some smoke actually, is Errol Sea. But uh, I spoke to the lady at the cafe and um, she was saying that the fire was in Fintry, which I guess as the crow flies isn't too far away. So that's where the smoke's been coming from. But we've left the West Highland Way now. We were on it for a short distance along some of the Carbeth huts and we're nearly at Strathblane. I think we've only got about a mile to go. So you can probably see um, the outskirts of the village there. Um, so yeah, we're motoring on here, but it's, we've been taking our time. It's actually um, nearly 11 o'clock. Um, so just we stopped quite a few times, but uh, yeah, no rush today. So we'll keep going. But yeah, nice view of the campsies. We're just on the outskirts of Strathblane now. I didn't stop um, in the village or the town. So I think we're on this railway path for quite a while. So it should be easy walking and uh, we'll stop in a wee while and get some snacks. I've still not managed to get anything proper for lunch, but I should be fine. That bacon roll's fueled me up. Oh, here we go. We've got less than two miles now to Kirk and Tillich and we've just stopped for a wee breather. It's hard going because it's basically tarmac uh, path. The whole way from Strathblane, um, so my feet, the soles of my feet are a bit sore. No blisters or anything, just sore from the hard tarmac and yeah, it's, it's nice enough but it's very samey this path. We've been on this um, old railway line um, since Strathblane and we've come uh, through Milton of Campsie. So now less than two miles to Kirkintillich. So it's, I think it's about, it's after two, yeah, t nearly 20 past two. So I'm hoping maybe to get a cafe there, get a coffee and get some caffeine in me. Uh, and maybe cake or a toaster or something. Um, and I think we've got about another five miles once we get to Kirkintillich. So um, that should be good. So 
So we've safely negotiated Kirk and Tillich. It's busy, very busy roads. But it's just a short section on the road and we paid a visit to McDonald's and it was much needed. So it's 20 to 4 and I reckon we've got about five miles to go, maybe just slightly over. And we're on the Forth and Clyde Canal towpath. And we can actually stay on this until Auchenstarry um, and then cut up. Or at Tucher or Tweaker, we can cut off and go via the Roman fort. So we'll make that decision when we get there. But uh, kind of glad I'm on the canal. It feels like I'm getting somewhere. But more tarmac, unfortunately. So that's us at the end of the John Muir Way. Well, for us anyway. This is Ockenstarry Barina, and this is where I finished the section um, from Falkirk. Um, I finished it here. So, fantastic. That's me finished. John Muir Way in the bag. All I need to do now is walk up to Croy Station, which I've just seen as. Oh, between one and two miles. I think it's one and three quarter miles. Oh, but that'll be it. Train home. Yeah. Aurora's done really well because it's been warm. So I'm hoping there's uh, a path up and we don't have to walk on the pavement. So I'll probably finish up the video here. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.